I just want to say happy Mother's Day to my mother, Vivian. I love you so, so much. And happy Mother's Day to my subscribers, who's a mommy. Love you guys. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kim for all my new subscribers and for my returning subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload another video. Yes, yes, yes. I know y'all saying, Kim, when I really, you just up and go and you don't say nothing. Well, guys. It's, I'm not even coming back with an excuse or anything. Just so I'll get right into it. The last time I did a video, I think it was when I started school. Okay, I underestimated how hectic my days would have been. I'm um, doing school, recording, doing my regular nine to five job, being a mother, and all these things. I really underestimated that and it wasn't it's still not easy but i am trying to make a sacrifice right now however um that wasn't the reason why i stopped initially so i took a break wanted like oh let me just get a hang of the whole school thing i've been out of school for a while so let me get the hang of the whole school thing again and then we just come back so in my mind i said okay this will be like um I'm gonna miss like a two weeks post, guys. Hmm. So, your girl caught COVID. And let me tell you, it was crazy on my body. Like, I didn't know what to do. I was in pain. Lord tell me, I was constantly cold. My well giant never hurt me. Like, I didn't want to eat anything. The only thing is, I had like two days where I wasn't able to breathe properly and that was the two first days when I started feeling sick and that's what brought me to even taking the test because I don't play when it comes on to my breathing guys and I was like mm -mm, something is wrong like I used to like struggle with asthma attack when I was uh, younger so it takes a lot now to to, to trigger my asthma when I was working in Ligani I used to drink some roots from this man um I really don't remember his name and I hope he's okay because the man used to take care of me like when him come and he said me even want like guava juice today our our um June plum was the nicest one to me and he said no today's medicine day so this means him carry like green juice come give me and the next means him carry um What's the name of that one again? Beetroot, and I used to hate that one because it tastes like dirt. Anyway, so anyway, he was saying to me that his daughter used to have a terrible asthma attack, and he literally like make juice fair, a certain type of juice, and her asthma attack like went away. So it take a lot to like get her if you have asthma attack again. So I think it's the same thing that happened to me. I just gradually just got stronger my immune system got stronger i guess so not strain from the topic i'm saying that when i had those two days where i was like whoa i have to be propped up on the pillow what is happening i can't breathe properly what's happening i'm, I'm afraid to sleep so i said no i am getting sick something is wrong when i start feeling the pain now i was like why is my whole body paining me I took a test and it came out, came out um, positive for COVID and I isolated myself in this room here and I was very ill. Tamara took care of me, of course, and none of them um, contract the virus, none. They were all fine. We were still in the same house. Yeah, everything. It's just that I was careful not to go around them a certain way. And I stay away from everybody, basically. 
um in that time i wasn't taking care of my hair guys this is another update i lost almost half of the hair that was on my head i'm in and joke when i exaggerate i if i can find pictures i'll put them up if not it is what it is like guys when i tell you like being sick i wasn't getting up and covering my hair like i should have just lay down there with my hair out and let me tell you my hair got knotted and i could not i stand on my foot trying to detangle my hair till my foot got not hurt me no exaggeration there and we just get fed up and to be honest i got tear eyed because i was losing my hair and everybody know how much i care for my hair because my thing was okay process my hair to make it a lot easier for me to go to work do la lay whatever whatever but i had to take care of it even though i was planning that you know when i process my hair i gonna grow it out eventually and then i'm not cream it again and whatever whatever when they already feel good so quick so my hair is a lot thinner than it was and i i hate a thin hair i hate a thin processed hair so as soon as my hair clock three inches i'm cutting it all off whether who like it or whether who don't like it i'm going to cut it off so yes guys i, lo I lost my hair um you know when i had covid um yeah okay then so fast forward a bit so when we get better on my sorry then we need for her to do a video right um my phone i could not record my phone i use my phone to record anybody don't know that i use my phone to record um i record with uh um iphone xr and the phone marshall so i had was to put off me recording again to see if i could get a new phone unfortunately i did not get a new phone tomorrow fix my phone eventually and here it is how much whatever later okay guys one of the other times that i was say you know what let's try but quality or not i'm going to come back guys my face broke out in a long time that was the first time i'm seeing my face like that and when i said broke out i mean like bumps on my forehead bumps on my cheek bumps on my chin bumps out hair like bumps everywhere and i was struggling to get by my face um somewhat okay and this is basically what it's looking like now looking at myself you can still see i have spots lingering especially here um yeah another update is that you know i don't even know if you realize probably you didn't but i don't have any piercings right so i don't want to make this video really long i just wanted to give you a quick update uh where i've been and what's happening with me and lula anyways i decided to go back on my journey and my spiritual journey with the lord and i was just cutting out all distractions so whatever i have to focus on like i'm a person that um take care of my piercings um, I clean my piercings and stuff like that. I don't have like built up around my piercings and stuff like that. But I was interested in clean, which means that whenever I'm washing my face, I have to ensure that I lift them, I clean them, I lula, I whatever the case is. Below, say whatever the case is, just in case you never realize. Yeah. Anyways, so I was like, I'm cutting out some distractions. Um, I took out my piercings. I don't have any tongue piercing anymore and thank you so much like the instant as we take it out guys normally the spot where it's at would have stayed there for a while before it come back I'm not gonna stick out my tongue to you but I'm just saying like it just like it wasn't there I know it's piercing I took out my belly ring um those unnecessary piercing i took them out so i just have this um i don't care for it it's just there but i just have it um low maintenance yeah 
uh, yeah so I'm just gonna tell us a distraction going back in my church so I'm proud to say I'm a Christian however I'm going to do something for y'all not telling you yet but um yeah so just encouraging anyone that's watching if you are not right with God please to do so seek him pray for understanding pray for strength as it's not an easy journey I belong nowhere else but in God nowhere else not in this world nowhere else because it doesn't matter what I do, I constantly have him behind me. And I know what he, he said. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so I belong nowhere else and I am taking my journey very serious. Um, so there's a lot of things that I changed up. Um, I got a lot of things that my my walk is going to be different from yours so it doesn't even make sense I'm here explaining it I'm just telling you what I did to help me on my journey like the songs that I was or artists that I felt addicted to in watching or listening to their songs I literally just you know unfollow them and just stay in the word whether by um, worshiping, um, reading, um, you know, I started to clean up the content that I watch. So anything will get me a certain way. I don't watch them anymore. I just try to, I just try to saturate my life with God. That's just it. That's just the long and short of it. As I say, my journey is different from yours. There's a lot of sacrifice you guys are gonna have to make and it not gonna include probably nothing that I'm doing. But I know where my weakness um lies, I'm gonna just clean them up. Okay? So that's that when it comes on to me going back to my God. Yes, I'm so happy. I've been happy and I've been telling you guys and I gonna have temptations and stuff like that. Just don't fault it. And if you fall, please get up. Don't say, oh God, now I understand and whatever. He should not understand. He's not an unjust God, okay? He's a just God. So don't do things and say, God will understand. <laughs> no, he don't. Just do what's right and you know, whenever you falter, just get up and pray. We serve a merciful God. Just pray and hit the city. Yeah. Cover your family, friends. Hopefully they can follow your journey if you decide to start or if they have already started, follow you know another footstep footstep or take on your own journey. So yeah, that's that in regards to my spiritual life um guys just there's a lot of things coming up and i i can't wait to share them with you i'm just letting you guys know i'm back and i'm very sorry i don't know if i apologize in the beginning but i'm truly sorry for stepping away so long but it was almost like i had no control over it i was just doing what i had to do at the time and as i said schooling it, it wasn't easy i had a lot going on i had a lot doing and uh, yeah that's that i miss you guys so much and guys let me tell you something for those who are watching that saw me in person guys we are telling her right now me shame <laughs> guys every time i go out before I stop recording the other day, me never used to soon so. I saw one today, like today. And she was like, Kim. I'm just saying, it's so weird. I'm just saying it. Hi. Thanks for the support. Okay, I'm going to have a long talking. She will kill me. And for everybody who went up on my Instagram, guys, I really appreciate it. Because I'm not like, I'm not the first week, I say, nobody don't miss me. But I see it's a gun on people and I'm like, I don't know what's happening. I'm just gone. No, I'm like, I'm just like, say, oh, Lord. At first, I wasn't explaining. But I just said, I'm soon come back. But when I say it's too long, I started like explaining when you guys come along. And 
yeah well i'm back and thanks for checking up on me guys i really really appreciate it like i truly appreciate it who reach out and you guys let me know that you miss me and i really miss you too i'm back i'm back and back and you have you guys have a lot coming trust me a lot a lot <sighs> so share out the video i know this is nothing like this is just a sit down update with you know whatever whatever but feel free to share it out feel free to ask someone to subscribe to my channel you know comment more than one so block the comment section guys you know i'm back i'm back i'm back stay blessed in the lord love you guys